Hello everyone, I'm Jana Ester from Praxis Estonia. So why do we need alarm system to help students in needs? When we carried out the interviews with teachers and support specialists, we found the following. Firstly, indications to a student's potential problem are often not noticed or are noticed too late when the problem has already worsened, making it more complex and resource intensive to solve. It may happen since the classes are very big, uh, the teachers are burdened with administrative tasks and there is a pressure to gain results. All of that makes it very difficult for a teacher to spot a problem. Secondly, no intervention or reaction might follow even if the problem has been spotted. And the reason for that may be, for example, that there are no clearly defined roles and responsibilities, meaning who is actually responsible uh, for reacting to students' problem. Is it a class teacher? Is it a support specialist? Is it a subject teacher? Is it all of them? Sometimes there is also not enough knowledge on how to react. What is the good code of conduct? How to carry out the conversation with a student? How to approach, for example, a parent when a problem has uh, arisen in school? There are all very delicate situations that need special character and special skills. Uh, sometimes there is not enough certainty also when it is the right time to react. Uh, it is dependent on the personal feeling and perception if the problem is already serious enough. It may well happen that we underestimate a problem like this and sometimes students try to hide or deny the severity of the problem themselves. So our aim was to design an intervention that from one hand would be as an alert system so that the attention of a particular person, for example a class teacher or a support specialist, would be drawn to a problem. It provides objective information about the situation of the student and encourages them to intervene. Therefore, the second aim of the system or the intervention was to establish a response system by clarifying responsibilities and roles by providing guidance to a specific person, for example, support materials, or requiring them to fill in certain fields in the system. So we are very hopeful that our intervention has a real impact and we can solve or prevent some of the problems in schools. Thank you.